Thank you, Frank. And I can't tell you how happy I am to be here to share in your joy and this joyous celebration of a ground blessing for more greenhouse homes. And Frank, I am grateful to you. It was last night as I was coming in from the airport that I had this moment of nostalgia as I thought back to the eight and a half years that we've worked together to really bring these beautiful homes into fruition that Martha just talked about. I am grateful for leaders like Frank who embrace the idea of something better, <coughs> that life can be different, and they seize that, and he made a choice to become part of a national movement that has been changing the conversation and the way elders age in America. He became part of the National Greenhouse Project. And way back 13 years ago, down the road in Tupelo, Mississippi, the greenhouse model was born when the first four greenhouse homes came to fruition. What began there in 2003 is now extending to 30 states where over 200 homes, greenhouse homes, are built, 150 more in development in four additional states. When I talk about the greenhouse model, I say it's all about leadership. Leaders like Frank, who are willing to push against the status quo and say life can be better. And the role of a, a leader then is to move things forward, to inspire and to embed new ways of thinking, new belief systems that will translate into practices that will inform care, a new way of caring. The greenhouse model is all about relationships, building deep knowing relationships, relationships that value the unique worth of every person. It's those relationships between nurses, Shabazim, and the elders that form partnerships that really enable elders to live, grow, and thrive. So for me, it was about a year and a half ago that I found myself in front of a television. I was just captured by the visit of Pope Francis to the United States. And what particularly caught my attention was his high regard for the weak, for the frail, for what many in society would consider the outcast but I love the way they were acknowledged, <coughs> these people, the way he intentionally reached out to them to touch them and let them know of their worth. He had this to say about elders. In a society where elders are not honored, there is no future for the young. He went on to say, we live in a throwaway society, discarding the weak, the frail, and the vulnerable our elders and he admonished us to cherish each life and to see the intrinsic value within each person Ave Maria you are building upon a rich heritage that began 60 years ago when you endeavored to care for elders in your community when you opened your first greenhouse homes you showed the world that it wasn't enough to just stop with the status quo, but to continue to push through the stereotypes that would diminish the worth of elders. Today, we are here to bless ground that will be future greenhouse homes. And as you are building new greenhouse homes, I want to remind you, this is radical change. It's comprehensive change. And while the architecture is beautiful, and I know these new homes will be equally beautiful, may I remind you that it's the philosophical culture and the human architecture that will fill each home with warmth and love. So thank you, Ave, Ave Maria. Thank you, Frank, for your investment of time and effort. Change of this magnitude is not easy but I guarantee you it is worth the investment of all those efforts and energy. So thank you for your continued dedication, your commitment to making life better 
for elders in Shelby County. Thank you.